Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining BTT or BitTorrent coin here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes using your Windows 10 or 11 base computer. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the BitTorrent coin that you are mining here in 2025, allowing you to build your holdings even faster. Also, I just want to take a second to note there is a small change here on the channel. Throughout the video, you'll notice small breaks. Um, that is due to a change here on the YouTube platform, which by inserting those breaks in the video, it does allow me to have advertising run on the video, which allows me to provide these videos here for free for you on YouTube. So I appreciate that uh, understanding with that small change, and let's dive in. So I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, crypto is up very slightly today, um, up about 0.2% to a total market cap of 2.67 trillion. Um, looking at the top 10 though, you know, a lot of red on the week. Um, all the way down here uh, in number 10th place is Tron, which is up about 2% this week. But other than that, it is red across the board, ignoring the 0% uh, green here for USD see those don't fluctuate much but uh, you know um, overall we are starting to see a little bit of price movement um, which is great I do still think we've got more bull run left here in 2025 which means the more coins you can collect now the better position you will be for that bull run so let's take a quick look at BitTorrent coin since that's the focus of today's video so right now it is an extremely cheap coin this you know you can get quite a bit of them for not a lot of money um, they do run on the tron network which is nice to see if you're a tron fan um, but taking a look here you know they had an all-time high here of zero uh you know this you know 0, 0.0 and then a small five um uh so basically let, let me see why that says the uh I think the uh, math there on, on that's broken. So let me pull up the chart here. So yeah, 005. So I guess it's kind of reversed here in terms of the uh, number. But if you believe that that uh, price is re achievable again here on the BitTorrent network, mining the coin now could be one of the best decisions that you make. So let's dive into how we're going to go ahead and do this. So we're using a site here called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with Unminable, it's a site that pretty much does what the name says. It allows you to mine coins that are not traditionally mineable or coins like Bitcoin that are traditionally mineable but require really expensive hardware. It lets you mine with a GPU. And the way it does that is you actually pick an algorithm and a coin that are profitable to mine on your specific hardware and you mine that and they take care of the conversion on the back end and pay you directly out in the coin that you choose, which of course in this video is going to be BitTorrent coin. So with that being said, if you don't know what is best for your hardware, um, what I'd recommend is go over to whattomine.com, enter in the GPU that you're planning on using to mine, and it'll tell you the algorithms that are best and most profitable uh, for your hardware. In this video, I'm going to be using the Kapow algorithm, but feel free to choose whatever is best for your hardware. So what you're going to do is go over to unminable.com. You can either navigate to it in your browser or there is a link in the description which if you use that link you're actually going to save 25 percent on your pool mining fee which i'll talk about more in just a minute once you're on the website scroll down and click this get started with our guided setup button this will take you into the setup where you'll configure the file that you need to start mining and then we'll download everything and get started so I always recommend going with the basic option as this is good enough for 99% of people looking to mine, but advance is there if you're interested. Now I'm going to be going down the GPU mining path here, but if you're following along on a Mac OS based computer or you're looking to mine with your Windows based CPU, choose that CPU option. And I do like to mention that I do have a full length video on how to set this up and get it running on Mac OS. Uh, so feel free to check out that video if you're looking to do a Mac specific mining uh, tutorial. 
Here's where you choose the algorithm that you're looking to mine with. Again, I'm going to be going with Kapow, but please choose what's best for your hardware so that you can maximize your profit. We're then going to choose the BitTorrent coin here, as that's the one we want to get paid out in. And you'll just go ahead and paste your Tron address in uh, where you want to get paid. Now, I do want to take a second to please say double and triple check your address here. If this is wrong, you're not going to get any sort of error. It's going to start mining just like you'll see in the video here in a minute. But when it comes time to get paid, you simply won't get paid. It just won't send the coins to the right address and they'll never make it to your wallet. So I'd hate to see you mine, get to that payment level, and then not get the money. So once you've checked that, go ahead and say next, and you'll see this is the final step before we download everything and get started. Now if you use the link in the description below, you'll notice my Bitcoin Tips referral code auto-populated just like you saw here on the screen. Um, but if you didn't and you still want to get it, uh, you know that 25% discount, feel free to type in the code. It's just Bitcoin-Tips with a capital B and a capital T. So basically here on a Mineable, there's a 1% pool mining fee, which means for every 100 BitTorrent coins that you mine, you're going to pay one of those coins to Unminable. doesn't matter if you do that in a day or in a year. doesn't matter if the coin is you know, at its current price today or it triples. You're going to always pay that one coin. And by using this code, you actually reduce that fee down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 25% of the coins that you would have otherwise paid to Unminable. So it lets you build your holdings a little bit faster and be more prepared for the bull run. So feel free to use that code or continue without it. And here we are on the download page where you download the miner and get started. Now there are a bunch of options as you can see here, but I always personally recommend going with Gminer. Uh, it's the one that I personally use on almost all my mining rigs, as well as my Windows rigs, uh, and it supports both major GPU manufacturers, which if you were to upgrade your PC in the future, should hopefully be a pretty smooth process if you were to change GPU manufacturers. So that's the one I recommend, but please feel free to choose what you want to go with. What you're going to do is select download minor files. This takes you to the GitHub where you'll just select this Windows 64 zip file, download this and extract it. If you miss the extraction step, you're going to get an error right away when we go to start the mining program. So if that's something you're running into, make sure uh, that you didn't miss that extraction step. Then what you're going to do is come back over here to Unminable and click this blue download.bat file button. Make sure you're on the one that you chose. So this one G minor goes with this one. This one up here is actually for NB minor. Uh, it does need to be the one specific to the minor. When you download that, you'll notice Google Chrome called this out and said, hey, this file can't be verified. Are you sure you want to download it? You are going to have to select that warning and say download unverified file if you want to continue. Now, if this is something you're not comfortable doing, simply select delete from history. Unfortunately, there isn't a workaround for this, so you will just have to download this if you want to continue. Once you do that, go ahead and drag and drop that file into the folder here that you just extracted everything else. So as you can see here, I have uh, unminable btt kapow gminer.bat. And at this point, you are ready to get started mining. And to do that, all you have to do is double click this file. And as you can see, Windows Defender popped up and said, hey, this file appears to be a risky file. Are you sure you want to open it? You are going to have to say more info and then run anyway. Again, if this is something you're not comfortable doing, simply select don't run, delete the files from your computer, and I'd recommend checking out some of my videos on crypto faucets where you don't actually have to download anything to your computer. Good news is you're only going to get this warning one time when you run it for the very first time, but it is something I like to mention, and unfortunately, there is no workaround. But if you're okay with doing that, you can go ahead and say run anyway. And just like that, we are up and running mining BTT coin using my RTX 3070 here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to go through this process. If you had your address and everything ready to go, you could do this in less than five minutes. Now, just a few things I like to mention about mining here with Unminable. As you can see in this window, we got some blue text, some yellow text, some green text, nothing crazy going on, no red text. 
if you are getting any errors when this pops up, um, you know, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what error you're getting. I'm always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. But after about 15 to 30 minutes, you should see the stats on the addresses tab of Unminable populate with your mining information, and you'll start seeing payments come into your on-site balance. And with that being said, when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and hit that red X. Once that CMD window is fully closed out, you are no longer mining. Now the reason I mention how to close a window is because when you mine with Unminable for a decent period of time, maybe a couple hours or up to a couple days or even longer, when you stop the miner, you're actually going to continue seeing stats and even payments into your on-site balance for 12 hours or longer after stopping that miner. It's something a little strange, and I've seen the question of, hey, you know, I stopped the miner, but it's still paying me. Is it mining in the background? As long as that CMD window is closed, you can rest assured that you are no longer mining. I've personally stopped a miner, turned off the computer, and unplugged it from the wall, and was still getting paid 12 hours later the next morning. So I wouldn't be too upset about it. You're getting paid, and you're not having to mine, but it's just one of those things I like to mention. So with that being said, again, if you run into any other issues, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. Um, please, if you are getting an error, make sure to let me know what error you're specifically getting so I can best help you. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips. It really does help out the channel and allow us to provide these videos for free here on YouTube. And if you're looking to support us even further, there is also that super thanks and channel membership option down below, which of course, any support in that area is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.